start asking the real questions. <laughs> asking the question everyone's wondering. Hello everybody, my name is Mom Judy. Hello. Welcome to our reaction channel. Today we're back with my last one season three, episode 14, expose. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and if you're not your full length reaction to this episode, you can find out on my Patreon link to the description box. So last episode we got handed a bombshell. Locke's dad is on the island somehow. Yeah, it's crazy. And he's captured <coughs> by the others and Ben knew that and was like, here, he came out of this magic box for you, Locke. Here you go. Which isn't creepy or anything. I know. And Locke flipped a submarine, so that's all cool. That's good. Yeah. Not good, actually. <laughs> so let's get going. Oh, hey, I went extra, not extra. Yeah. Oh, goody, we get her backstory. Oh, so they're trying to really, like, integrate them for us. I guess so. Razzle dazzle! What the heck? Was this gonna show her something? It's gotta be. She just like got a soap opera or something? Yeah, it's Autumn gotta crystal. be. Yeah, I was like... And like bad acting. <laughs> Razzle dazzle. Let me give you a hand. Oh, thank you. I love you. I love you too. Oh. <laughs> okay. May December romance. Hey, what's wrong with her? What happened? Or is she acting? Just oh. Get help. Or not? Is she dead? Nikki's dead. What the fuck? The heck? Okay. That's Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're asking the real questions. <laughs> asking the question everyone's wondering. <laughs> Yeah, our random extra who hasn't been there from the beginning, but they're trying to make us think that, I'm guessing. Mm hmm. Just died. Well, oh well. Is he having a heart attack? Must be. Uh, Konama 1? I would have loved it if you could have figured out a way where I didn't have to eat the same food as him. Oh my god. Nobody they... else knows about this thing. Oh my god, they're murderers. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, who are they? Paolo. We poisoned him. Let's not poison ourselves. <laughs> the there? What the fudge? Paolo lies. That's what she said. Paolo lies, not power lines. Paolo lies. Who the hell's Paolo? <laughs> <laughs> There's nowhere to sit. Oh, Shannon. No tables, no chairs. No I'm Boone. <laughs> Good call, Boone. Boone. <laughs> coming, Shannon. If you quit flirting with random guys, maybe you could actually get on the plane. Oh my gosh. Me, we'll never end up like them. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> unless your brother and sister, you won't. Shannon got a haircut on the plane. <laughs> they gave her longer hair in the... Well, it'll look a little bit longer. Oh yeah, let's re reshoot this and throw her... Guys, put these people there. Tell us they've been here from the get-go. The bag. Paolo, where is it? Girl, y'all were just on a plane accident. You're thinking about the bag? I'm telling you, this is the trail. What do you know about He's track? dead. Well, I know what a footprint uh, is. Over here. What the heck? I'm guessing that's Paolo. Oh my god, Sawyer, don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so we got a murder mystery on our Yeah, head. who killed them both? I know. But they kill each other. Maybe it was a dinosaur. It's not Jurassic Park, Paolo. Oh my god, you thought it was a dinosaur. I did. You saw the trees move. Locke said when Echo died, his last words were, you're next. And Nikki and Paolo were with them. Ah. Oh. Mmm. He was talking about them. He wasn't saying you're next about them. He was saying you're next as in, you're all next. Yeah, that's not really bad. <laughs> no, <it's not. laughs> so here's how I see it. They call yeah. her the Medusa spider. Yeah. Her pheromones are very uh, strong. One way to so nice. the species would be here in seconds. Not unlike you, I guess. <laughs> okay. So you're probably too busy to help me then. On the plane. Mm. Playing. These stinking like people discovered the plane other plane first. Thing. If I go up there, that thing's gonna fall. <laughs> you're not gonna fall. What? 
Oh my god, they discovered the hatch. Nah! Before we all discovered the hatch. What is up with these two? You don't want to climb up to a plane, but yeah. now you want to climb down a ladder into a dark tunnel. I don't think so. And these stupid numbnuts don't even know what they just discovered. What the hell's expose? It's been the most awesome hour of television ever. <laughs> it's like Baywatch, only better. It's about Autumn and Crystal, two strippers that <laughs> solve crimes with the help of their suave, smooth-talking club owner, Mr. Lashad. <laughs> I miss that one. <laughs> Check it out. Do the cast list. Nikki Fernandez. The pigs are walking here. Huh? The pigs are walking! Okay, Arts. Good. I'm so glad to have him back. I was with the others like two weeks ago. They're on a total other side of the island. Then who dragged me into the jungle? Oh, oh, oh. It's Charlie. The others <laughs> came into our camp. Uh, of course they were. They me. Charlie, no. And if I hadn't gone away, they would have killed me. Uh, it's Charlie and <laughs> Sawyer. And Stick and Paolo discovered it. Like, Jesus. Oh, I remember he was in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, he was. He came he out, was. he flushed the toilet, and he's like, why did you use the bathroom or something? <laughs> oh my God. That's what he was doing. You're right, he did. <gasps> ben and Juliet. Oh. <gasps> Shoot, they came down here. So, what? We just grab all three of them, Ford and Austin, too? No, they need to come to us. And how do we make that happen? Michael, of course. He saw all this. Are we done here? This place gives me the creeps. And did he warn anyone? No. Oh. Well, they're murderers, so. And thieves. Right? They're liars. Well, because he'd have to explain why he was down there in the first That's place. That's true. So, do you know anything? How'd you mean? Oh, your Meh. vision. Can you, Meh. you know, use your psychic powers? Oh. It doesn't work like that. Be cool if it did. I only see flashes. As far as superpowers go, you're just kind of lame. Oh. Meh. Anyway. <laughs> oh my God. It was me who took you, not the others. Oh my God. Sawyer told me I could get even by helping him steal the guns. We just made it look like the others. Mm. No. I didn't mean to hurt you. Probably he's feeling guilty. He knows he's going to die, so he wants to make him clean. If I were son, I would have gave him a little slap. Well, good for you, Charlie. Yeah, coming clean at least. I keep waiting for one of them to blink. <laughs> yeah, they keep showing their faces. Like the bag. I mean... Maybe not finding it was good for us. How do you figure that? Look what he did. Might have torn us apart. Dude, you, you took yeah. those diamonds for yourself. Don't talk about <laughs> it being better that we didn't find it. Uh oh, uh -oh his gum. Nicotine gum. Thanks for nothing. And who the hell are you? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, he's sort of asking the real questions. You gonna tell Jen? No. No. Mm. He probably can kill you, Sawyer. If he knew the truth. Why not? Because then we'd have to dig another grave. <laughs> oh. Right? Yeah, Jen. So what? Well, I don't know. He just to beat him up. It's true. See, I thought I was going to get out of this without a lesson. Oh! <laughs> she saved this time for him. <laughs> Nikki and Paolo. I guess we didn't really know you very well. <laughs> <laughs> They're very, it like... Appears you killed each other for diamonds. What the hell was that? Oh! Oh! oh. 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 Are you out of uh. your mind? <sighs> because one look from Medusa would turn anyone to stone. Just like one bite from the spider will paralyze you. For uh, about eight hours. <gasps> it won't kill you. It'll just slow your heart rate down to the point where even a doctor would have a hard time. Wait. He's not You're dead. Oh. Oh, yeah. He said that if she releases her pheromones, the men will come up crawling. Oh. God, those are nasty spiders! Ah, oh. 
So they're not flipping dead. They're just paralyzed. Oh my god. Well, hopefully they wake up. I'm paralyzed. Oh, I'm paralyzed. Oh. Not paralyzed. Oh. I'm paralyzed. Oh my god. They're not dead. Oh my god. They're going to bury them alive. And not even know it. Hopefully they wake up. Oh! They're getting oh. buried alive. Oh my god. This show is so twisted. Oh my god. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about Nikki and Paolo anymore. The heck? I mean, because there's no way that they're... By no. the time that per by the time their stuff wore off, they'll be suffocated. They're suffocated. Oh my god. That's whoo. Okay, I know I like didn't like them because they introduced them in such a awkward way. Yeah, but, like, they didn't deserve that. I mean, well, they're murderers and thieves, so maybe they did. But yeah, they're pretty bad. Nikki and Paolo. They murdered that one guy and stole his diamonds yeah. to get his diamonds. Yeah. Oh, they're so toxic. When Nikki was all like, the bag, the bag, the bag, the bag, the entire episode. And Pal was like, I thought you wouldn't love me. If not for the bag, not for the diamonds. Oh my god. And they showed them like, in all of the scenes. Like, oh yeah, yeah, they went back and redid all the scenes. Like to show that they really have been there from the beginning, which is what I figured they were trying to make us believe, which is why it didn't feel organic. Right. Like if they had just had them like wash up on the island or something, they were like, hey, be part of our like group now, that's fine. But just like trying to show like, hey, they've been here this oh, entire yeah. time. We've just never seen them. It just felt awkward and weird. Yeah. So I won't That's weird that they did that. Those characters? Yeah, I know that they just, like, threw them in there and then just to kill them off. Well, maybe, maybe fans didn't like them and so I they're like... I know. That's weird. Well, I mean, I figure that's the only reason they've come off so soon. Probably people didn't like it, so they're nah. like, I guess we'll kill them off now. No need to have them around. <laughs> so I think I can figure. Yeah, because they just got killed off. Oh, gosh. That's um, crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of a fun, like, mur murder mystery. You don't really get that on this show. Um, yeah, they've done some, you know, like this one, and they kind of did like the, like the non, like the car one. Oh yeah, they like they like the occasional filler episode. Yeah. Just for something different. Different, yeah. But I'm kind of not irritated, but just like I wanted to get back to that lobster. I know. <laughs> and then they give us this. It's they like what? Well, nice thing is we don't have to wait like. Oh, I know. In between. We can watch the next oh, episode. Could you imagine when you're watch people watching this when it happened? And it's like, wait, why don't oh, I get back to John and then pissed. Jen have this type of enough? Oh, that would have <laughs> sucked. I would have been pissed. Honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people were irritated. Oh, probably. It's like, wait, you left us off on that massive cliffhanger and we gotta go deal with stinking Nikki and Paolo? <sighs> Honestly. Jesus sakes. Well, I guess they're dead. We don't have to worry about that anymore. I still can't believe they got buried alive. Oh my, that's cruel. That cru I mean, of course, no one knew. You know, everyone thought they were dead. Oh, that's just crazy. But it's like, that's so cruel because they're going to suffocate down there. I know. Because, yeah, by the I'm not sure how long it would take for the full-on paralysis to wear off. Because even though she opened her eyes, I mean, it still might have taken a bit oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for it to wear off. And by then, it's like, she's going to suffocate. They're going to suffocate. Like, jeez. She said, I'm paralyzed. Yeah, Paolo lies. <laughs> yeah, I'm paralyzed. To, to be like, I'm not dead. Oh. I'm just paralyzed. We also got to see Art's back. Oh, yeah. Which um, also didn't make this more fun. Well, I don't know. This episode actually was kind of fun. I mean, it was like kooky and wacky. Uh -huh. Oh, and Charlie came clean. With oh, sun. yeah, you're right. He did. Probably feeling guilty and then knowing he's going to be dying soon, probably. He just wanted to get off his conscience. I know. Well, his son converted Sawyer and gave him a good... Macaroni. He deserved it. <laughs> and he's like, are you going to tell Jen? She's like, no, because we have to dig another grave. 
Yeah, she's like, you don't need to know. Yeah. She's like, I'm good at keeping stuff from my husband. <laughs> we Maybe know, son. Right? We know. Okay, well, hopefully next episode we get back to all the other stuff. Thank hey. you very much. Okay, Dougie, I hope you guys join a reaction to this uh, wacky random episode. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to watch a full length reaction, you can find it on my Patreon and have a beautiful day. Good night. Yay.